Okay, so for this first lesson, we're going to start looking at how to solve quadratic equations using graphing or the graphing functions on our calculator. So the first thing is we know that the general form of a quadratic equation is going to be y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. When we're doing a quadratic equation, it's a second degree equation in the same form where a can't equal 0, but then instead of y at the end, we're going to have y replaced with 0. For example, 2x squared plus 12x plus 16 is equal to 0 would be the equation form. When we're talking about the roots of the equation, the solutions of an equation are going to be the roots. So this is going to be what x equals when everything is equal to 0. This would be the same as the x-intercepts on the graph. For the zeros of a function, that's when I have the function in general form, and the zeros is going to be when the y value is 0, which means that the roots of the equation, or the zeros of the function, are asking you for the same thing. They're both just asking for the x-intercepts. So to start, Consider the graph of the function of the following equation. I have an equation that's graphed out on the right-hand side here. I can see some clear points that it goes through. And the first thing I'm going to do is write this in both vertex and in general form. So I have a vertex here at the point of 1 and negative 9. From that vertex, it goes right one up one, or to the point of 2 and negative 8. So I have an a value of 1 in this case. So in my vertex form, I'm going to say for vertex, I have the equation y is equal to x minus 1 squared minus 9. For the general form, I'm going to square that out, so x minus 1 times x minus 1, or x squared minus 2x plus 1, and I'm going to combine the constants to get y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8, or the constant at the end is going to be my y-intercept right here at negative 8. What are the x values when y is equal to 0? Well, when y is equal to 0, it's going to be these x-intercepts, and I can see that one of them occurs at negative 2 and 0, and the other one occurs at 4 and 0. So I can say that what are the x values when y is equal to 0? When y equals 0, x equals either negative 2 or 4. These are the x-intercepts. If I'm writing a quadratic equation that has roots that are the same, then a quadratic equation where the roots are the same would be if I just took my equations from up top here and replaced y with 0. So I could say x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. That's when x would equal either negative 2 or you can solve the quadratic equation in this form by graphing the corresponding function, which means that you're going to replace the 0 with y and then graph it into your calculator. The solutions, or the roots, are going to be the x-intercepts or zeros of the graph. Just like with any of our functions, 
where if it's a quadratic function, it can have one x-intercept, two x-intercepts, or zero x-intercepts. The same thing is true here. In this case, I can have zero, one, or two real roots. I'd have zero roots if it never crossed. I'd have one if the vertex occurred right on the x-axis, or I'd have two if it crosses the x-axis twice. So, when I'm actually graphically solving this, my first step is I'm going to take the equation and rewrite it in terms of a function. In this case, I would say that y is equal to negative x squared plus 6x minus 9. That's what I'm going to graph in my calculator. I'm going to set window settings so I can clearly see where the x-intercept and the vertex would occur. In this case, I'm going to use negative 1, 10, and 1, and negative 10, 1, and 10. I'm going to graph out what I see on my calculator, do a general sketch of what that looks like, graph the function, and then I'm going to solve for the zero, or zeros if there are two of them, in this case, it occurs at 3 and 0. It only touches once, which means that the x-intercept or zeros are 3. And the solution to this equation is x is equal to 3. It's only got one solution that would possibly work. For my second one, same thing y is equal to negative x squared minus 12x minus 35. I'm going to set my window settings, and I set it as negative 20, 10, and 5, or negative 10, 5, and 5 for y. I draw what I see on my calculator. I have the graph comes up through here, and I have two x-intercepts, or two zeros, at negative 7 and 0, and negative 5 and 0. So the x-intercepts are at negative 7, or negative 5. And the solutions would be x is equal to negative 7 or negative 5. Either one of them is going to balance out this equation. For the last one, same thing. y is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 30. In this case, I could tell right away from my standard window settings, negative 10, 10, and 1, negative 10, 10, and 1. I could, from this, see my vertex and see right away that it's never going to cross, which means that, in this case, there are no x-intercepts or zeros, which means that there is no real solution. And in a later lesson, we're going to discuss why we say no real solution as opposed to just no solution. So, how would you solve the equation 2x squared plus x is equal to 2 graphically? There's two ways. We could do one solving the zeros, which is the same as solving the y-intercept, or sorry, x-intercepts. So, step one. I'm going to move everything to the left side of the equation. In this case, 
when I move that to over, I'm going to wind up with the equation 2x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Step 2, I'm going to replace the 0 with y and graph it into the calculator. And the third thing I'm going to do is solve the x-intercepts, or zeros. If I'm using the intersect method, some people prefer this one when we're doing it on the calculator, because you don't have to do the manipulation of the equation. If I'm doing this method, I'm going to graph, sorry, I'm going to graph y1 is equal to the left side of the equation. In this case, it would be the 2x plus x. I'm going to graph y2 equals the right side of the equation. Or y2 is equal to 2. And then I'm going to use my calculator to solve for the intersection points. No matter which of these two methods I do, it's always going to be the x value. So if I'm doing the intersect method, the y values don't matter. The y is always just 2. All I'm looking for is what the values of x are. And in both cases, x is going to equal negative 1.28 or 0 0.78.